Hello, I'm Ken Murphy, Managing Director of GP Connections. Do your staff lift boxes, lift files, move chairs around, move boxes, parcels? If that's the case, they're, they're doing manual handling. Manual handling is a major concern and causes a lot of major incidents and, and injuries at, at a workplace. And you, as, a, as the owner or a director of a, of a practice, even a professional practice, are responsible for the safety of yourself, your staff, contractors, visitors, the public and your patients. The next few minutes will give you some, a bit of an overview on some of the things that you need to put into place, procedures, policies, risk assessments, to put into place to cover manual handling to make sure that you are complying with the Act. Thank you. Employee health and safety in a professional practice is just as important and vital as it is in any organisation. One crucial item that every business and practice must take into account is ensuring that they give their staff sufficient training to allow them to carry out their duties in a safe and appropriate manner. It's always best to keep a record of the training that has been undertaken. Another item that should be kept within the employee's contract is the details on their disciplinary action, which could include dismissal if they fail to comply with any safety policies or procedures in place. Manual handling accounts for between 25 and 40 percent of all workplace injuries in Australia. And Whilst a lot of people within professional practice may think that they're exempt, it is something that still is a major occurrence. Manual handling is any task where people physically move, handle or shift objects. In a professional practice, it could be something as simple as lifting boxes of files, moving some furniture or carrying a package. Injuries that can occur from manual handling can and sometimes develop over many years and can also have some uh, long-term, long-lasting effects, whilst others may not be as disabling. Can be injuries include back injuries, impact injuries, muscle and joint injuries. Incorrect manual handling can cause some serious injuries and if the person involved practices some safe lifting procedures, uh, they can certainly greatly reduce the, the risk. You know, taking into account the, where the load is stored, the size of the load, the weight, the shape, object, the balance, how far it's got to go people should be very aware and training should be undertaken to ensure that people do factor these in before they lift or change or move an object. From a practice principal or practice manager's perspective, you should look around your staff and the position that they're standing or sitting. They might be slouching in the chair and whilst that won't cause an immediate back injury, it can cause some effect over time. Remember back injuries can develop over a period of time and um, can also be uh, occur through a sudden unexpected movement that can jar the spine, the ligaments or the muscles around the back. Back injuries, there is a large number of back injuries caused by bending or twisting as you pick up heavy objects, awkward shape, um, slipping, tripping over objects, falling from a, a, a ladder um, or being hit in the back with something heavy. Repetitive tasks can also have over time a, an impact on your back. You need to instruct the staff and give them the correct lifting methods, moving methods so that they're aware and don't uh, increase the risks. One of the key items that 
as a practice manager or a practice principal you can put in place for your staff, contractors, visitors, patients, is undertake a safety audit, which takes into account a lot of risk assessments and uh, identification and the environment and that other other things that can have an impact on people's safety. Typical risk assessment should take into account the likelihood and consequence and come up with a risk ranking um, and the procedures and mitigations that can come in place. As is always the case, GP Connections is able to help with a production of a compliance safety audit and undertake professional office risk assessments. If at any stage you need some assistance, please feel free to call GP Connections. Thank you and have a safe day.